I, mean, I don't know. I, 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 no, I, I can't really speculate. If that's what he says he's going to do, then go ahead and do it. I mean, it don't make no difference to me. The, the way I look at this fight is this is youth versus experience in, the, in a lot of different ways. But I see a lot of youth versus experience. I see talent with Colbert, but I also see the pitfalls of being a young man who feels invincible. I see a lot of uh, arrogance with him. Whereas Tug, yeah. I feel like he's looking at mortality now. He's 29 years old mm -hmm. and he's staring at what do I want my boxing legacy to be? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think that's a you know, fair assessment. Um, definitely a good perspective. I mean, I, don't get me wrong. Yeah, Chris Colbert has a, a personality or however he wants to act or think about himself or say, or that's great. That's fine and good. You can carry yourself however you like to. But I don't even, none of that, I don't pay attention to that. I mean, I know Chris, like I said, I know Chris very well. He'd been through one of my gym for sparring and, you know, I spent time with Chris. I, Chris is fine. This is nothing personal. It's just, uh, um, it's just, it is what it is. It's business at a certain point too, you know, and, and they're fighting at a top level. And I think Chris's skills are, are very good. I think he's a good fighter, a solid fighter. I think he's very talented. Um, but I mean, the, the, the rubber is going to meet the road at a certain point and uh, we're going to see on Saturday night, you know? Well, I think what I, when I was getting at like the, the kind of the youthfulness, it's like, I see him at times, he's able to outbox someone, but then I see him willing to bang because it's almost like he doesn't want to just outbox someone. He wants to have this entertaining moment. Mm -hmm. I see a young man fighting a young man's fight where an older man would go, you know, I've, I've learned that, that doesn't always work well for me. And that's what I was kind yeah. of getting. No, I get that. Yeah. But I think he's smarter than he, than he leads on the beast at times mm. too. Like he, he wants to win. He wants to win and he, he's going to try, he, he's going to do whatever he thinks is necessary to try to win. And he will, he'll go for those, that those finishes if he thinks he can get them. Like, and his last fight with uh, Arboleda, like he, the guy was, you know, he softened him up. So he knew that he could, that's why he took the chances at the end to stop him. Yeah, that was an impressive performance. What do you think is, well, I guess I'll, I'll just phrase this. I think that Colbert's most elite attribute is his jab. Does anything stand out to you about what Colbert does that you feel comfortable sharing? Uh, I think... I think he's he's a pretty well-rounded fighter, man. I think he's uh he's fast. I think he got good speed. Um, yeah, I'm sure his jab is good. His jab looks good. I mean, I mean, a lot of he does a lot of things pretty good, you know. How I don't want to say rushed, but how crazy is it having the Showtime crew come into your gym, right. and they're basically like, okay, we got to get like two months worth of footage in like right. three days. <laughs> I mean, it's cool though. You know, this is what you, when you first get into boxing, this is kind of like, this is the moments like, you know, you got a, a young fighter, you're hitting the bag. You're like, oh yeah, I can't wait till I'm in one of these big fights and they're filming me do this. Like, that's what they want. This is what you, what you are hoping for. So you can't complain about it. And when it comes, you know, this is what you signed up for. It's like, there's always a moment, even in the fight or right before the fight in the locker room that, that, that you're kind of sharing with your fighter and uh i used to have i had another fighter that i trained and i used to tell him because he would get a little nervous or whatever before the fight and we it's common it's normal and i could feel that moment where he's getting like fuck like what am i doing you know like what, what like there's always that question like why am i doing this and i would say look this is what you asked for never forget that this is what you wanted and what you asked for and then there's like you're right i did now i gotta do now i gotta do what i said i'm gonna do and kind of live up to what I, what I claim I can do. So it's kind of goes the same with all the things like, like you, you're a busy guy, you're successful, you're doing good at what you're doing. So you can't, you're not going to complain about all the things you got to do. You're just going to do them. I like that you put me over in that one. <laughs> I like how you did that. That was very, very good. Um, very, that, I use that same trick on people. No, but it's true though. No, it, I get what you're saying. Like I think about, when I'm at a fight, right, I'm never interested in necessarily seeing the fight, but I want to see every walkout and everyone leave the locker room if I can. 
Like to me, that's the most interesting thing because I can almost yeah. tell who's going to win every fight based on how they leave that locker room and how they're motivating themselves to walk out because it yeah. says so much about them. And that's the spirit of what I, I gather from what you're saying is like, there's this, there's this inherently human aspect to boxing that we sign up and we want it, but then there's this fear at all levels when you get to success. Yeah, bro. That goes for everything. It's almost like a lot of people are afraid, are afraid to like go after their dreams you know, there's a, there's a good quote I, uh, I saw at one time I was at a yoga class that I used to go to. It said, it was on the wall and it said, what would you do if you knew you could not fail? You know, and I was like, man, that's really, that's a deep question. And then the next question, the next board next to it said, well, why aren't you doing it? <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like, man, that's a serious question. Because a lot of times I think people aren't as afraid of the failure as much as, 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 the work that comes with success that is sometimes a lot a lot harder than than what people believe a lot of people want the the accolades but they don't want to walk through fire to get them like 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 what tugs got a you know he's taking a who i mean you can find i said i had a conversation with somebody earlier about like this similar conversation where it's like i'm sure i could find you guys that would have took this fight right on two weeks notice probably deep probably good you know reputable guys but with somebody in Tug's position with as much as he has to lose as well, how many guys like that are you going to see that's willing to take this fight and this type of uh, situation? I don't think you're going to find a lot of them. And that just speaks to the type of person he is. He, he's, he, wants to, he, wants to, he wants the glory, but he's willing to put it on the line to get the glory. You know, so everybody was here and tell you, oh, I'd love to be the guy that beat uh, so-and-so or this guy or that guy, but are you willing to really do what it takes to do that? That's what you have to figure out. Everybody wants to be a, be a lion until it's time to do what the lion has to do. When it's to me, this feels like the Andy Ruiz moment, like where he went in and fought 